Testing, 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 testing. Hopefully you can hear me well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to share my screen and we'll talk about essential oils for focus and motivation today. Whew, in the winter time, definitely need some of that. Oh, yes, too hot to drink right now. All right, on the cover right here, Focus Motivation Essential Oils is a beautiful blend by doTERRA called Motivate, the encouraging blend. And it has some really uplifting oils, some mints and citruses, it's pretty gorgeous. So we're gonna cover th cool things about essential oils, ways to use essential oils to promote focus and motivation, some of the science behind the essential oils. Um, and it, the purpose of it is really for everybody to use their oils with confidence. And we're gonna talk about a little bit about the doTERRA membership. Uh, so what are essential oils? They are extracts from all different kinds of plants. They're highly concentrated and they're super potent. And they have a wide range of uses, including like food flavoring, cleaning, um, great for your skin, great for mood management. They're super mood modulators. But here on the right hand side, you can see a peppermint leaf. And on the other side of the peppermint leaf, you've probably experienced the tiny little peppermint sacs that are magnified. So, you know, when you've got a peppermint leaf or a basil leaf and you rub it with your fingers, you can really smell it much more strongly than if you're just smelling it on its own. And that is because those tiny little um, peppermint leaf or peppermint oil, essential oils are being burst, the little sacs are being burst and in onto your um, finger and you can smell them. So an essential oil, for example, uh, peppermint, one drop of peppermint is equivalent to about 28 cups of peppermint tea. When we think about peppermint tea, that is a dried leaf and on the leaf there are only a certain number of essential oils and some of them will evaporate over time and that also leads to the potency even if you're a herbalist you know that a fresh plant is much more potent than uh, a dried plant and as it gets older the less potent it becomes and that's largely due to the essential oil actually not being in the plant anymore so I love the essential oils, really one drop. It is super, super inexpensive, um, you know, under 10 cents, I believe. And you are getting a potent pick me up and it's not too much. It's great. I often use one drop in uh, midday as a pick me up. Okay. So what roles do essential oils have on a plant life? So why do they, why ex essential oils even exist? They give plant its aroma. Really, they maintain defensive properties from predators, from funguses, from viruses that will attack the plant. Um, they're great for pollination and uh, the reproductive process. And they also help the plant heal itself when it's been injured, which is pretty rad. This is a great little chart from a magazine, actually. And it talks about the whole process of the essential oil from harvestation. So first it's harvested, um, a specific species is chosen for the most potency and how powerful it is. Then it, it is either steam distilled or cold pressed. It was steam distilled, it's through a very slow process. If it's done too quickly or if it's done through solvents, it can actually, it, it's not as therapeutic and it can even be uh, not very good for us if it's not done properly. Cold pressed, it's just like cold pressed olive oil, but it's usually done for citruses where um, it's, it's actually pressed uh, through these cool machines and there's little pictures on the right hand side. Then doTERRA has over 54 different tests 
And then they're also tested by a third party. They are Aromatic Plant Research Center that are awesome. You can see all the tests from any essential oils from doTERRA online uh, that Aromatic Plant Research Center has done. You can see uh, where the plant is from, where it was sourced, and the test for the batch of the actual essential oil that you have. It's pretty rad to have that kind of transparency. Um, I wish I had that kind of transparency just for food or just for other products. Um, I would like other companies actually up level their transparency to show that they're actually organic or they're actually uh, pesticide free. Uh, this is above and beyond pesticide free. This actually tests for even uh, microbes, uh, funguses, any kind of other things, uh, heavy metals that um, even organic uh, testing wouldn't process. And then the bottling facility, even the bottles are tested for any kind of contaminants to make sure that there, uh, there's nothing in them that are harmful. So this is a little bit about the testing process. Uh, it's tested chemistry, there's chemical testing, physical testing. So the chemical testing is the gas, uh, I can't even pronounce it. Anyhow, not even going to try to pronounce it. Physical testing that would be for reactive ingredients to make sure the, the actual type of plant, it's the correct plant and it was picked at the right time. Can out contamination testing and ongoing stability testing. So again, this is uh, from a page that explains it more thoroughly and you can visit the uh, doTERRA certified peer therapeutic gauge, grade essential oils and get more information about that. What I really love about uh, doTERRA is that the essential oils are sourced from their native region and their global network of growers, so small farmers. Some of them have been in family farms for generations after generations. They're regular, rigorously tested for quality assurance to make sure that they're really safe for us and super therapeutic and they're gonna work. They're powerful oils, they're so awesome. So they're free of toxins and filters and adulterants and harmful contaminants and super transparent. So in the essential oil world, in the industry right now, over 90% of essential oils on the market are synthetic or have synthetic base or contaminated. There is a certain amount of food grade essential oils that are used as preservatives because they help to preserve foods and they also help with awesome flavoring. So you can find essential oils in food if you read the label. Uh, oftentimes they might just say flavoring, they might not specify that it's essential oil. Um, some might say essential oil. I had olive oil that actually said basil essential oil in it because it was a flavored olive oil. So that would be a food grade. There's therapeutic grade essential oils, uh, which are better for us, but then uh, they might not have the level of tested quality that I would want to use, especially if I'm using essential oils internally or even topically, because even if they are therapeutic grade, there might be micro contaminants in them that I am, or heavy metals from the um, filtration process or from the extraction process what they use different chemicals to extract the essential oils. So pretty awesome. Why doTERRA essential oils? They're super safe, they're effective, they're powerful, and they're inexpensive. They're pennies per drop. So this is a company with a super high ethos that has always only ever produced an essential oil that is of high quality. They will not put it on the market if it doesn't hit all of their 54 different quality standards. Uh, so it won't even go on the market. And also it has to be sustainably sourced because they're thinking about future generations. They're tree planting, um, ensuring that the plant will still be able to be sourced 30 years, 50 years, 100 years from now. You can see more of that information in the source to you.com. 
Uh, you'll also see some co-impact sourcing. So these are partnerships that they've made with small farmers, so small that it can even be just one mom, a uh, single mom with her kids that is a farmer and she can sign a contract with doTERRA for a year or longer and actually have um, paid times, like assured paid times for her crops and paid on time uh, for the crops that she yields. The Healing Hand Foundation, which is a non-for-profit foundation that is 100% of the proceeds go to the foundation for some beautiful, beautiful things. So you can check that out. Uh, there's a huge learning community to tap into and continual science, scientific research on the doTERRA website. And as well, um, I like looking on PubMed. So let's dive into essential oils for motivation and focus. Oh, so often I have felt like this or just like falling asleep at my desk. So I love to use essential oils as mood modulators because they are powerful mood modulators. They can really influence the quality of our lives if we use them regularly. And they ha can help us manage our moods as we learn how to use the different essential oils. Just like listening to music can really shift our mood. Imagine the power of an essential oil when you smell th something. Three responses in our, in our nose that's just behind here and which controls our sense of smell, right? And the nerves and neurons signal to the brain to identify the smell. The nerve signal transmits the inf information to the olfactory system to the, from the olfactory system to the limbic brain. So the limbic brain is where uh, we store a lot of our memory. So that's like our memory response. So the limbic brain um, produces a response. Also, the essential oils are tiny little molecule that at that point are in our bloodstream and affecting our cells at a cellular level. It's pretty awesome. So how can essential oils promote feelings of focus? Now, this is an interesting question, right? So blends for focus, we can use basil and lavender. And these, if you want to take a screenshot of this, um, is one per drop. So one drop of basil, one drop of lavender in the diffuser, three drops of peppermint, two drops of balance, two drops of coriander lavender, bergamot, and lemon, spearmint, peppermint, and basil. Now these are all uplifting essential oils and mood lifting essential oils. And I can go a bit more into depth, but essentially the essential oils such as the mint or the basil, it will actually help to wake us up because they react with our body in a cooling uh, mechanism with our, our brain. So if you've ever experienced mint, you will notice that it has a cooling effect. And this cooling effect will actually help to any constricted vessels, such as if we can't breathe very well, or if we're feeling any kind of inflammation, will help to relax those so that they're not so swollen. And we can breathe better, for example, and things like that with peppermint or with basil. All the citruses are very uplifting, so I can go on. All right, so we're going to talk about essential oils and motivation. So there's intrinsic and uh, extrinsic motivation, and how can essential oils help with motivation, right? We're motivated by what we might get, and we're also self-motivated by certain things. So motivating oils here, again, are some recipes. For diffusing and I will say aromatic use as a motivational tool is one of the best uses because you're just smelling it just like listening to music you're affected to buy it you can also use your own personal diffuser as in put the oils in your hand and breathe them in make a little scent tent and breathe them in and the essential oils will help that way as well I like to pack essential oils with me uh, so I can have them on the go. I will not go anywhere without my essential oils, at least a little pouch. 
So some uplifting essential oils. Again, the bergamot, blue tansy, Douglas fir, grapefruit, fennel, lemon, lime, peppermint, tangerine, and wild orange. And you can, the great thing with essential oils is you can mix and match what you like and experiment with it. If you don't like the smell, you can dump it out and try again. Uh, so it's really great. Calming essential oils to help focus and calm. So you want a balance of both. The uplifting and calming is basil, bergamot, cilantro, coriander, clary sage, jasmine, lavender, neroli, petit grain, Roman chamomile, spikenard, and vetiver. Awesome at super calming. Some people actually find clary sage uplifting as well. So it depends on the person. So some application ideas. So you could diffuse some basil while you're studying. Uh, you could use the doTERRA Motivate, uh, rub it on your pulse, roll it on your pulse points if it's the roll-on, diffuse frankincense while you're trying to practice your meditation or yoga, diffuse peppermint, as a pick-me-up. I also like rubbing it on my temples as a pick-me-up for an energy boost or putting a little drop on my thumb and putting it on the top of my mouth and it tastes awesome. Wild orange to uplift your move, mood, just smelling it in a scent tent or you can combine frankincense, peppermint and wild orange in a diffuser and in tune to help sustain a sense of focus. So that is a great essential oil uh, doTERRA blend for really focusing and staying on, on tap. I absolutely love that one. So helping children focus, coriander, peppermint. Spearmint is a really nice one. It's not as uh, poignant as peppermint, but it's beautiful, beautiful smell, and it definitely wakes you up maybe some spearmint mixed in with some lemon or lime to help uplift them so they're not in a down mood. And some great oils for meditation or yoga would be like lavender, the balance blend, clary sage, spikenard, vetiver, frankincense, really affect our emotions in a tranquil way. They help to put us in a peaceful state quite quickly. And this actually happens in two ways. These essential oils affect us first on a cellular level. They, because of their chemical background of the essential oils, as we breathe them in, they affect our body chemically very, very subtly. Um, on a chemical level, but then our brain, right, our limbic system, remember it goes through our olfactory system and then our limbic system breathes that in and remembers the calming effect. So twofold, right? First, it's affecting us on a chemical level as a mood modulator, but then our memory also remembers that it has a really great effect. So it's kind of a double whammy there. So how do we promote focus and motivation? Essential oils are one of the things, right? They're one of the tools, but also exercise to help boost our mood and uh, our energy. Healthy eating, obviously, if we don't have the right nutrition, if we're not supplementing, properly, especially if we, uh, you know, omega oils or antioxidants and adequate sleep is absolutely necessary, right? Those are the foundation, exercise, healthy eating, adequate sleep, and self-care and using tools like essential oils are really great to get us there if we're not quite at the healthy eating or if we're not quite at uh, exercising quite enough as we want or getting enough sleep as we want. Essential oils can help to promote that. So now we're going to talk about some of the essential oils that you can get in kits. Oh, no. First, we're going to talk about safety tips. So quick, if you get essential oils in your eyes, your ears, other sensitive areas, 
you want to flush with an olive oil, a vegetable oil, fractionated coconut oil. You never use water. Water and oil don't mix. Use another fatty soluble thing or milk even as long as there is enough fat in the milk and not just watery milk. Um, but really the best thing to do is to use another, an, an oil, like a vegetable oil. Review the label to make sure that you're using it correctly or go on to the doTERRA site. doTERRA and then search in the doTERRA site the essential oil that you wanna use and there's always descriptions and how to use the oil properly, especially if that little label is too small. Avoid using citrus oils topically when you're going into the sun. You can use them topically at the bottom of your feet that's not gonna be exposed to the sun. So anywhere where the essential oil won't be exposed to the sun, you're fine. But if you're going out, uh, out in the sun, don't use the essential oil like right on your face, you know, because uh, that can increase the UV rays and um, it's not pleasant. Okay, you really only need one or two drops. These oils are potent and one or two drops takes you a long way. It's also why they're so inexpensive because you only need one or two drops. So how do you get your oils online? Uh, you can also do a sign up form if you're not comfortable online, but really you have to order all your oils online so you may as well get used to it. You can do a uh, retail or I don't really recommend it because it's the most expensive way to buy oils. You can do a year membership or a wholesale account with a kit uh, that waives the membership fee and it's really the smartest way to buy because you're getting a trial kit. You try out your oils, you get used to them and you can kind of decide what you want. Then once you've got your membership, you get everything at 25% below retail all the time. Uh, and you can opt into loyalty reward points where if you start to uh, order and there's not only essential oil there's also tons of other products such as like the hair care products um, I always use the hand wash the detergents um, all-purpose cleaners as stain removers toothpaste deodorants etc etc it goes on and on face care so if you get any of your things that you're going to get at the grocery store, anyhow, just get them through the, your doTERRA site, you eventually rack up those points to get free products. Now, I get free products every single month. And you can choose when you want to redeem your free products. And you can receive up to 30% back in your free products. That's what I get. So if you've been a loyal member for a full year, you will get, you will max out at 30% uh, percent on all your products. So that means if, for example, I spend about $100 on products with 100 points, I get $30, 30 points back in free product. It's pretty rad. Um, I rack them up pretty quickly. So you can redeem your free products whenever you want. And you also get a product, a free product every month if you order over 125 points between the 1st and the 15th of the month. And there's always free education. doTERRA, the doTERRA site has a ton of free education, scientific reports, uh, DIYs, you name it, and with me online as well. All right. So what path can you take with doTERRA? The majority of people, it's just a lifestyle thing for them. They use the essential oils for themselves and to manage their own and their family's um, health and a wellness lifestyle. You can also opt into sharing essential oils with other people and you can actually get some money back for any, anyone that buys anything um, that you shared with. So it's a super generous uh, compensation plan that you can basically, you know, maybe get some of your oils paid for if you're sharing. And then some people actually do this as a full-time business, working from home and traveling and sharing doTERRA as a full-time 
activity. So let me know if you have any questions. Post below or message me if you have uh, private questions. Oh, yes. And there's plenty of ebooks as well. So, talk about a lot of information. So, here are some of the ebooks and essential oils for fitness, sleep, you name it. All right. Thanks so much. So, there's so much we can do for essential oils. I have lately been doing different protocols of using essential oils to really get me focused on what I truly want and get me out of some negative head spaces and to get me motivated and focused in what I want. And I really, really want this for you as well. Also, if you're interested in a certain subject with essential oils and how you can use them, or if you have specific questions, message me or message below. Thank you.